Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be doing some equation solving. So I've got a big, bad, ugly looking equation here. Looks really long, huh? Well, equation solving is one of the most common things that we do in algebra. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of follow a few steps here. So I have parentheses, so I look, since there is a number in front, I have to use my distributive property to distribute this negative 3. So this 12, I'm just going to bring it down, okay? I'm going to distribute the negative 3. That means I'm going to multiply negative 3 times 2x, and then I'm going to multiply negative 3 times 1. So negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times positive 1 gives you negative 3. I'm going to bring down the equal sign. Now, bring down the 7x. All right, I have another negative 3 outside of parentheses, so I use my distributive property to multiply it times everything inside. Don't forget to keep the negative with the 3, otherwise it'll come back and get you and you'll have the wrong answer. Okay, so negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Now, my next step is to combine like terms on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so if you notice on this left side, I have a 12 and a negative 3. Those are like terms because they do not have x's. The 6x is not like terms with those because it has an x. All right, so 12 minus 3 is 9. Bring down the negative 6x. It just comes along for the ride. Bring down the equal sign. Now, on the right side, if you notice, my 7x and my negative 3x are like terms because they both have x's. But the 21 does not have an x, so I cannot add it to those. So 7x plus negative 3x, or you could say take away 3x, leaves you with 4x. Bring down the negative 21. All right, now the next thing I want to do, since each side of the equal sign is simplified, I want to move everything with an x to one side of the equal sign and everything without an x to the other side. I will do this by additions and subtractions, okay? I generally prefer to keep x on the left. Why? Because then it says x equals answer. Does it matter? No, not really. As long as you do your adding and subtracting correctly. I'm going to move x's to the left, things without an x to the right. This does not have an x, so I am going to subtract a 9 from both sides, put it under like terms. I'm going to move my 4x to the left, so that means I'm going to subtract a 4x from each side. All right, and then we're going to go straight down. This cancels. It's negative 6x minus 4x is negative 10x. Bring down the equal sign. This cancels. Negative 21 minus 9 is negative 30. And then my next step is I want to isolate the x all by itself. That means get rid of the negative 10. So I divide, since it's been negative 10 times the x, the opposite of multiply by negative 10 is divide by negative 10. I do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign. So on the left, this cancels out. And I have x, that's what I want, equals. Now I have a negative divided by a negative, so that means my answer is going to be a positive. So negatives cancel out. 30 divided by 10 is 3. And so here we go. We have x equals 3 for our answer. Awesome, awesome. Have fun solving these. I mean, they're just like puzzles, you know? So don't let it stump you. 